Okay, in the last video we talked about range and span. Let's take a look at this time, let's take a look at accuracy versus and tolerance. And I think the easiest way to do this is if I use a voltmeter. So let's use a voltmeter. And I think everybody's familiar with how to use a voltmeter. And let's say this voltmeter has a selector switch on it for reading voltage that has a, a range of 100 volts. So the switch position is on 100 volts, which means that on this range or on this scale, I can read 0 volts to 100 volts. Now, let's take a look and see this. Let's say that the, the meter manufacturer specifies this meter at being plus or minus 1%. And that's all he gives us. That's not a very good accuracy figure because 1% of what? Is it 1% of a reading? Is it 1% of the scale or the range? So I don't really know. But let's just use this 1% and assume that it's 1% and we're going to, we're going to, of the 100 volts. So I want to calculate my accuracy. So if I take the 100 volts and I multiply it, and I use the asterisk sign for multiplication so as to not confuse it with the letter or variable x, or sometimes the dot operator gets confused with a decimal point. So I use the asterisk sign times 1%. 1% is basically 0 0.01. And what does that equal? Well, you should be able to do that in your head, but I'm going to come over here to the calculator and I'll do 100 times 0 0.01 equals 1. So this is equal to 1. That means that my meter reading 100 volts can read 99 volts to 101 volts and still be in specifications. So my tolerance is 1 volt plus or minus. So now let's say the specification says plus or minus 1% of the range. Well, plus or minus 1% of the range. Now this term range might be a little confusing because I had told you that range is two values. Well, and it still is. My range is 0 to 100 volts. So I could easily say possibly here span because I want to make sure it, it covers this range. So it's 1% of the range. My upper end is 100 volts. But what this tells me is that this 1% is going to apply to any voltage I read on that scale, on that 100 volt range. So if I'm reading 100 volts, this is still a valid calculation. If I'm reading 50 volts, let's say I'm reading 50 volts. Now let's calculate the tolerance at 50. So 50 volts times the 0 0.01 is equal to, and we'll use the calculator, 50 times 0 0.01 equals 0 0.5. So my solution here is 0 0.5. My tolerance says that if my meter is reading between 49.5 to 50.5, my meter is still in tolerance. My readings are in tolerance. So that's not too bad. A half of, uh, you might think a half a volt is a lot, but on an analog meter, let's say, that's pretty good. So it's 1% no matter where I'm reading the voltage on that particular scale. But let's say the Let's say that the tolerance or the, or the specification this time reads plus or minus 1% of full scale. 
and f dot s is is full scale. This is going to make some differences. Let's use the same voltmeter and we'll use that 100 volt range again. So, and we're going to measure 100 volts. Well, the, at 100 volts, which is full scale, times the 0.01% or the 1%, we know it's 1 volt, and our readings can be between 99 volts and 101 volts and still be in spec. But this spec says it's 1% of full scale. So this tolerance value is going to carry through to all of my readings on that scale. So if I'm reading 50 volts on the 100 volt scale, that's going to be plus or minus 1 volt, which is the tolerance at full scale. That means I could be reading 49 volts to 51 volts, and the meter is still in tolerance. That is a lot worse. Just in the way that the specification was written, when you get a specification of full scale, your, your readings, mid-scale or lower, are going to be bad. Or not bad, but they're going to be much less accurate. Let's see what the percent is here. We can calculate the percent very easily. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. But if I take uh, if I take the 51 volts minus the 49 volts and I divide, I'm 1%, so I'm going to divide by 100, I'm going to get here, this is 2 volts over 100, and I'll come over to the calculator, 2 divided by 100 equals 0 0.02, 0.02, which is 2%, Oop, 2%. So now I'm at plus or minus 2%. My error actually doubled at mid-scale. And the lower I go on that scale, the lower or the, the worse my tolerance is going to get. So I hope this helped you a little bit in calculating tolerance, Hi, error, and percent of error. And I'll see you in the next video.